Hello students, how are you all? Hope all of you are very fine and staying at home. At the same time, you are learning the chapters provided by our online classes. So today I will start the second chapter computer software of class 5. This part will consist of the definition of software, types of software and system software. So let us start what is software. Just putting hardware components together will not make a computer work. In order to work, computer also needs software. Computer software are programs that are stored and run on the computer hardware. They help the users like you and me to work on the computer. So, what is software? Computer software are the programs. Those are already stored and run in the computer hardware. They help the users to work on the computer. Only hardware cannot make the computer workable. We need software to do work using the computer. So software and hardware are inspirable from inseparable from each other. For example, when we buy a software, we actually buy a software stored on a CD which is a hardware. So here I have mentioned hardware and software and this is user. Hardware and software together can make the computer workable so that the user can interact with the computer. Now remember any type of information programs, movies, games, animations stored on the computer can be called a software. Here software simply means computer programs. Now, so what is software? Any type of programs which are stored in the computer are called software. Software simply means computer programs. Softwares are basically developed by programmers and programmers write programs using programming language that is high level language. Now we come to the portion types of software. There are thousands of different types of software in the market. All this software can be put into two main categories that is system software and application software. Operating system is the system software and the application softwares are like MS Word, MS PowerPoint, MS Excel. Those are the examples of application software. What is system software? The term system software refers to all those programs that are meant for the computer system. So, the software that interact with the computer hardware are called the system software. This software control and coordinates the internal working of the computer and perform many other tasks to maintain the system. So, basically system software works to maintain tasks on the system. Now, system software can further be divided into three main categories. Operating system, system utilities and development software. Now come to a uh, note. Microsoft Corporation is the biggest software manufacturing company in the world. It was founded in the year of 1975 by two partners, Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Currently, the company is being 
हेडेड बाय एन इंडियन आई टी एक्सपर्ट सत्या नाडेला सो करेंटली द सीईओ ऑफ मायक्रोसॉफ्ट कॉर्पोरेशन इज सत्या नाडेला एंड एज आय हॅव टोल्ड बिफोर द सिस्टेम सॉफ्टवेअर कॅन बी डिवायडेड इन टू थ्री मेन कॅटेगरीज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टेम सिस्टेम युटिलिटीज अँड डेव्हलपमेंट सॉफ्टवेअर सो वॉट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टेम वॉट इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टेम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टेम इज द मेन सॉफ्टवेअर ऑफ अ कम्प्युटर इट परफॉर्म्स मेनी इम्पॉर्टंट फंक्शन्स सम ऑफ विच आर गिवन बिलो इट कंट्रोल्स अँड मॅनेजेस द इंटरनल वर्किंग ऑफ द कम्प्युटर it provides an interface to the user to work on the computer it helps us to give commands to the hardware devices attached to the computer it helps the other software the application software to run on the computer so what do the operating system do it basically control and manage the internal working of the computer that is the way computer handle the programs of hardware it provides an interface to user to work on the computer without the operating system we cannot work on the computer so it provides an interface to work on the computer it helps us to give commands to the hardware devices attached to the computers now it helps the software to run on the computer now come to the next point some of the popular operating system software are here this is windows 8.1 one is mac operating system and the last is linux windows 8.1 we use it basically in this is the version of windows operating system and uh, mac os is for apple and linux this is the uh, this is the operating system named ubuntu for of linux a version of linux now remember most modern operating systems provide a graphical user interface to work on the computer in a graphical user interface we do not need to memorize any commands all commands are listed in the form of clickable menus options buttons and icons so nowadays we are basically using the operating system those are using the graphical user interface and here we need not to memorize any command as the menu and options or the buttons provides the commands now come to the portion system utilities what is system utility the system utilities are small programs that help in the maintenance and upkeep of the computer system this fragmented data cleanup data compressor uh, compression system rest- restore antivirus software and so on are some examples of u- system utilities so this defragmenter actually whenever we store some data or information in our hard disk drive the files can be stored in fragmented way means in scattered way and this can and the disk defragmenter can use the can use the blanks blank spaces 
between the files and all the files can set up together in a portion of the disk and the remaining portion will be blank so in this way the disk defragmenter works and data cleanup the useless data can be cleaned up through this data cleanup option data compression when we have large size of data the data can be compressed to small size system restore whenever we have some problem in the system it can be restored or the files that um, were already moved to bin can be restored using system restore antivirus software is basically used to protect the system from viruses so this are some of the system utilities now come to the point virus what is virus a virus is a malicious program that has been written with the intention of harming computers and the information stored on them antivirus software track down the viruses and remove them from the computer example of some antiviruses are not on quick heal casper sky and avg etc so viruses are, are some program which are malicious and which are written to harm our computer and antiviruses are used to remove virus from system now development software development software help us to develop new software which is including system software application software computer games and so on so development software helps us to develop some software including system software application software computer games these are the softwares which can be developed by using development software here we have some examples of development software java eclipse visual studio dot net framework php etc basically dot net is a framework that is a development software php is basically a language now some terms are there to learn what is program a program is a set of instruction to perform a specific task programmer a person who writes computer programs is called a programmer what is software a collection of programs designed to perform a specific task on the computer like ms word ms powerpoint etc are called software so i hope you have an clear idea about today's topic please go through the total video and learn the topics on computer software this is all for today thank you